Good morning, ESM. I'm Josh. And I'm Elena. With many Americans currently unemployed and searching for jobs, I thought it would be a good idea to do today's show on some awesome places you can work. More on this after news. James Michael Taylor, the witty barista from Friends named Gunther, has passed away at the age of 59 in his Los Angeles home. His cause of death has been said to be a lost battle to prostate cancer, re revealed by his manager. He revealed his diagnosis of prostate cancer to the public in 2018, encouraging people to get screened as early as 40 before it's too late. Although not a main character in Friends, he was considered as the seventh friend. Last night at 6.52 p.m., a 54-year-old woman was shot by a stray bullet in the back while in her home on Delaware Street in Syracuse. At the time, there were reportedly over a dozen gunshots that could be heard. At this time, the cause of the gunshots is under investigation. The police asked for anyone with information to come forward. The woman was taken to Upstate University Hospital and is expected to survive. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Are you a senior looking for volunteer hours? The Kids' Night Out is the opportunity for you. This event will be taking place on Friday, November 5th from 6 to 9 p.m. If you are interested, please sign up on the sign-up sheet, which is hanging in the main lobby on the bulletin board near the auditorium. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Hart in room E06. This past Saturday, the Spartan Marching Band finished in second place against this week at Central Square. If you haven't been to New York State Field Band Championships before, you should go to the upcoming Sunday night. The performance is at the Center Dome, and you can root for your ESM Spartan Marching Band when they take the field at 6.15 p.m. Well, today's show is on different jobs, and oh, yeah. especially, especially for teens. And according to the Labor Department, the number of unemployed Americans is 10.1 million, and the official unemployment rate is 6.3%. And recent data indicated 18.3 million people are receiving unemployment benefits. Many people are unemployed for different reasons, such as job loss from the pandemic, and many have stopped looking for jobs altogether. After weather, we'll be talking about some awesome places you can work, including some awesome jobs for high school students. Today, on Monday, we will have a high of 66 and a low of 50 degrees. Today, we'll have some rain showers in the morning that will then transition into lots of clouds. Tonight, it will still be cloudy and rain will pick up again and stay around until dawn on Tuesday. And speaking of Tuesday, tomorrow we'll have a high of 56 and a low of 48 degrees. Tuesday will be breezy and much colder with lots of heavy widespread rain. Wednesday has a high of 59 and a low of 40 degrees and Wednesday will have some rain to start the day, but should be sunny as the day progresses. And with that, I'm Grayson with today's weather. of the first great places to work which I am currently employed at, I think it's great, is Wegmans. It's a great company that is very flexible and always makes sure school and academics come first and they also offer scholarships for seniors so if you're looking into college they offer money to help you out. After Source will be taking into a look for some more awesome companies that are hiring. Houston Astros and the Atlanta Braves both clinched bursts over the weekend. The Astros beat the Red Sox with a score of 5 to nothing, and the Astros have gone to the last three out of the last five World Series. The Braves are going to the World Series for the first time since 1999 after beating the Los Angeles Dodgers 4-2. The Arizona Cardinals remain undefeated after blowing out the Texans 31-5. Tampa Bay quarterback Tom Brady surpassed 600 passing touchdowns in the 38-3 win over the Chicago Bears and the Seattle Seahawks will play the New Orleans Saints at 8.20 tonight. The Orange have snacked a three-game losing streak of losing by three points after beating Virginia Tech 41-36. to 
Garrett Schrader had five touchdowns on the day, including the game-winning 45-yard touchdown pass to Damian Alford with 25 seconds left in the game. And now on to Luke with ESM Sports. On Thursday, the football team lost a heartbreaker to Auburn 33-38. Quarterback Tyler Bell had 196 total yards and three total touchdowns. Receiver Rocky L had two total touchdowns. And quarterback Nick Camiso had a touchdown pass to receiver Joe Derby. The boys finished their season with a 3-5 record and don't qualify for sectionals. However, a consolation game is in the works. The gymnastics team captured a fifth place, fi fifth place finish at the Section 3 Championships this past weekend. Senior Rena Butchko made the podium on the floor exercise with a fifth place finish. Rena capped off her gymnastics career, placing eighth in the all-around. Ellie Mancini and Kaylee Montana were solid in the all-around, taking 11th for Ellie and 12th for Kaylee. Girls soccer team beat Auburn 5-0 on Friday. Leo Rem and Angelina Polcaro led the team with a pair of goals each. Giselle Michael M scored the game's first goal. Laura Sidnick, Leo Rem, Laura Marker, and Natalie Peterson all had assists, and this is Isabel Travis's 13th consecutive shutout. Friday night, the boys' soccer team won 7-0 against Corlin. Todd Durantini led the team with three goals and two assists. Evan DeBurgess had two goals, and Anel Soljic and Nico Paduano had a goal each. Alex Gonzote had an assist. The volleyball team beat Living Word 3-2 three, three for their fifth straight win. Cole Thomas led the team with 14 digs or 14 kills and 20 digs, and Jacob Franklin led the team with 36 assists. The volleyball team now qualifies for sectionals after this win. And the girls' field hockey team lost to New Hartford 1-2 in overtime for the sectional semifinals. General Orlando scored the only goal, only goal for the Spartans, and Maura Live had 13 saves in the game. And in upcoming games, the boys' volleyball team plays at Liverpool at 7. And I'm Luke with your sports. For teens looking for jobs, now I know having a job is, it's not always fun all the time, but I feel like yeah. it's important to have one because it, you learn responsibility and you make money. And some places that are currently hiring right now is Cinnabon in the mall. We have Aerie, which is like a clothing store at the mall. McDonald's, we got oh Mickey D. Ah, you got to get your McDonald's. If you work at McDonald's, you got to give me some chicken nuggets. Got to get those fries, you oh know. Oh, my God. Then we got Tully's, Tully's Good Times. I think they're hiring servers, too, like hostesses. And we have Burger King. And then also I found many nursing homes are hiring dining servers. So if you want a more laid-back job working with, you know, senior citizens, a dining server's for you. Play some bingo. Okay. Yeah. Having a job throughout high school is a great way to save money for college. Got to get that job and get a real-world experience and responsibility. Well, that wraps up today's show. From me, Josh, and everyone here at The Morning Show, have an awesome Monday. Oh, yeah.